I truly believe that creative listening really begins to turn to creative making. I am Dan Patera, the director of the Detroit Collaborative Design Center at the University of Detroit Mercy School of Architecture, and I am the co-lead for the civic engagement for the Detroit Works Project Long-Term Planning. Detroit actually has always had this incredible design culture through its history. When you look back at car design, when you look back at the industrial design at the turn of the century, both within Detroit and outside with Cranbrook and the work happening inside the city, there's always been a wonderful sense of design here. Now it is becoming reborn, picking up on the tradition of great design in the city. And I think are inspired again to a level of um, not just local but national recognition. We like to use the term public interest design in terms of ma making sure that the design comes from the public at large. The way to do it is to go there, spend time with people, ask them what it is they need, uh, what it is they value, um, learn from them, recognizing that they have all this human asset, all this cultural uh, knowledge, and the design needs to arise out of that uh, with their participation, ideally enabling them to make it themselves. And in the process, we learn a great deal from them. What we tried to do is begin to say that you can sit and design with a pencil and paper on a table, but for us, we wanted to actually do the design process outside in the, in the field, if you will. So one of the things that we did with community was bring everyone together in the outside and we created these um, graffiti circles. We, we cut out circles of, um, of cardboard and had people paint verbs on those circles, activities that people do, and then place them all around the site. And the site is a one block long site. So all over they had things like painting and wading and running and playing, these verbs that would in, in, um, fill the site. And then from that we began to talk about how would we make and design things to activate those verbs, to interact with those verbs. And we worked with that as we then went back to our office and started designing in a more traditional sense, if you will. We utilized all that process in, in our design process where uh, expertise is celebrated from being a resident in the community, that is an expertise, to being a engineer, to being a librarian, to being a contractor, being a, a service provider. All that expertise brought together to allow it to become the driver for design. It's a new way of thinking about the role of professions. Professions have largely de-skilled people and have sort of assumed that, we're, well, we're professionals, we know what you want, in this very pandering, paternalistic way. Public interest design flips that. People know a great deal. Humans, like every other species on the planet, know how to make their own shelter. It's simply been uh, taken from them by professions.